exposing Tarantino. Where's your movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you could be making a, your own thing. You still made a damn good movie out of a bunch of parts of movies nobody else has seen right. except you and ten, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I give him total credit for it. You know, it's funny. Uh, it happens so often. Like, I've, I've been watching Fringe all week. Uh, my review will probably be up, up on the site by the time this comes up. But it's like this down the middle mixture of like 10 other science fiction shows. And it's so blatant the way exactly what they choose, chose to steal from other successful sci-fi shows and merge them together in one. And yet on the whole, it works. They were good decisions to do. I'm like, well, I can't blame you for doing that. And I'm certainly not going to go thieves, thieves. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it's, I mean, it, it really is the whole, uh, uh, the whole thing we were talking about with, you know, Deep Impact and uh, uh, Armageddon, Armageddon and all that. Yeah. It's like D- Disney is just, just really the abyss. still matching blows with uh, the Warner Brothers cartoons. You know, I mean, it's they just keep stealing from each other. And, and the plot thickens now that they one owns DC and the other. Right. Owns exactly. Marvel. Exactly. I mean, because if you look at it, there's there's some egregious things in there. Like uh, Warner Brothers has Harry Potter. So Disney comes up with the Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> Now featuring the Dread Dormammu. A worthy competitor, I'm sure. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I've actually seen several episodes. Yeah, me too. And, wow. uh, <laughs> Not yeah. so much, huh? Why? Yeah. It, 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 well, and the sad I got thing a niece. is, it's one of the better shows on the Disney Channel. Okay, yeah. fair My enough. My parents and it love sucks. it. Isn't there a movie coming out of it? The, there is. I don't know like if it's going to be in a theater. but I could have sworn I saw yeah. it. No, no, no. There, trailer. Well, it could be, but yeah, it is gonna, there is going to be They're a They're going to have uh, Brother Voodoo uh, have a, an appearance. <laughs> and, you know, uh, you're joking, and it just occurred to me, a Pixar Doctor Strange would kick all kinds oh, of yeah. ass. Yeah, it would. Oh, my God. They might be the guys to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, something I, I God, think is Randy, funny. feel my nipples. They're so hard. <laughs> you keep asking me to fill your nipples, and I keep telling you no. Uh, that's why I put I'm you on asking. opposite sides of the couch. <laughs> Prior to this sale for the last three, four, five, maybe even six months, I keep hearing these rumors how Warner Brothers was thinking about dropping DC Comics. Uh-huh. And I wonder what, you know, what this deal would do to that. I mean, if, if it was even true that they were thinking about yeah. that, I would think they would have to stop They'd and rethink They'd never do it. it. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, yeah. Oh, shit. There was a moment. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, just, I just mean, like, you know, this could only work good for DC. I mean, there's, sure, there's a potential for bad, but I think there's so much more potential for good. Well, you know who, yeah. who's going to get hurt by this in the long run? It's going to be Boom Studios, our friends at Boom oh, Studios. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. I am worried about it. Uh, they just I, got all I, you know, it's ideas, funny because yeah. I just did that, that cover for them, and I wanted to talk to Chip about it. I was like, it might be too soon. I'll wait till next week to ask him. Oh, yeah, I bet you they're man. freaking out over there. Yeah. And I'm curious to know how long their contract is for. Yeah, well, that's one thing Disney did say from the outset. They're like, yeah, we're not, we're not looking to expire. Like, they're not rushing deals to end. Yeah. When they expire, they're going to bring them in house. Essentially, that's yeah. more or less what they said. And to be fair, four billion for Disney is nothing. They might turn around next week when they realize what's going on with the Pixar thing and buy Boom, right, which I'm yeah. sure they would be nothing but happy about. <laughs> well, oh, and that's they also, right. they, if, yeah. if Boom does so well with all the properties, and if they're they're they may decide, you know what, we could bring this in house or. We could let these guys who obviously know what they're doing keep doing it and yeah. get paying us money for the licensing. In all yeah. fairness, Boom was doing really damn good without Disney. Oh yes, they were. Yeah. So, but there's another uh, thing to consider. Uh, this is from Mark Finn, who oh, I know Mark, a lot oh, of us right. are friends Finn. for. He did a long post about this that uh, that I was curious about. Like, okay, Mark doesn't pipe up that often, but he's an old school comics guy, and he had a negative side to this. And he was talking about uh, the fact that Disney had successfully lobbied Congress to change the laws regarding yeah. when intellectual properties fall right, into the public yeah. domain. Yes, the Sonny Bono Act. Uh, it adds another 20 years to what's already, as in the, his words, yeah. the most draconian set of laws regarding uh, in, intellectual domain and the public domain anywhere. And what's worse, it's ham-fisted lawmaking at that. Instead of working on an exception to the public domain laws for entities still living, and let's talk about the Frank... Oh, sorry, never mind. Uh, <laughs> to, uh, to allow them to control their IP, they got Congress to lay down a blanket law that covers everything and everyone, regardless of whether or not needed to be covered. And what did Disney just do? Purchase 5,000 more pieces of intellectual domain. Intellectual property, and it's like okay, that does all seem a little scary at this point. I, I'm what sorry, comes you, next? You, I, I understood each one of those words individually, but, but all together, together, I don't know what what that what that well, means. Okay, well, yeah, basically, yeah. look, Mickey Mouse, the the iconic Disney symbol, should have passed into the public domain about I think ten years ago. Uh, in fact, I think it should have been even before that. But even they, before they, that, they yeah. managed they managed to get the the. Uh, the copyright for it renewed through basically fiddling with the legal system because they're powerful enough to do that. Yeah. Um, and so basically what, what it's saying is that the, they're going to have 
you know the the Marvel properties, and they're they're going to be able to do the same thing. And you know there there are certain positive things to be said about stuff going into the public domain. There are certain negative things to be said about. I, I got to well speaking as a creator, maybe I I don't understand this issue, but as a creator, if I create something, if I'm in my seventies, I don't want people coming to me going like, hey, dude. I know you plan to retire on that, but it's public sure. domain now, so you don't own the. You, it's that, not well, to be they, you. no, it's like a seventy-five year. Or yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's when, it's when the creator year. dies. It, yeah, yeah. What it, if I'm a yeah. Highlander? I could be around for a long <laughs> well, time. It's until they die. So until I take I'm, your head in the combat that yeah. we've long been planning, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Fine. I'm pretty sure you're not Scottish, <laughs> because okay, little Highlander point of interest. All right, Highlander was the Scottish one. Okay. All the other ones well, are just immortal. I just meant an immortal. I yeah. like call them Highlanders. You're not immortal. Okay. You're yeah. not. But you might be Scottish. <laughs> not. I could be. You're not There's immortal. There's black Irish. Why not black Scottish? <laughs> hey, Destro is black Scottish. That's right. I don't think just him being Scottish alone is the proof we need. <laughs> Dude, you can't kill Leon. Well, uh, let's cut his head right. off and see what happens. <laughs> hey, you, you haven't proved it. <laughs> Fish, as you're going away present, you get to stab Leon to see if he's immortal. <laughs> Yay. And you can't prove I'm not actually God either, but that doesn't give any evidence that I am. Do I have to start Wait tithing now? <laughs> <laughs> it's the flying spaghetti monster defense. So. Yeah, the uh, the thing about Disney, uh, I, overall, I generally think it's a positive thing. And as I keep looking at it, I see mostly positives. But yeah, there's something sort of icky about giant corporation getting bigger and buying up more entertainment. It, it's sort of on a gut level, you're like... I feel like I should be against this. Well, Mark, back to Mark Finn again, because this is the most amusing sum up he gave of this whole situation. He said, uh, Disney has repeatedly demonstrated that it is a bottom line, shareholder friendly, corporate juggernaut. And any semblance of quality or in integrity is merely a candy colored robot in the shape of Mickey Mouse that targets children as consumers. Has zero appreciation for its own cultural history. Where in the world is the Song of the South DVD? Never going to happen. Thank you. Uh... And repurposes <laughs> culture, popular and otherwise, into branded product for profit sold and marketed to the lowest possible common denominator now like i said i'm reading his words and i understand y'all's yeah, reaction I song of south but that. do you really think it should be completely unavailable like you can't even get it i mean i loved that movie when i was a kid i can look at it now and as an adult go okay yeah that, that's let, a little let, let me put it this way to to prove his point he should pick a different example yeah. that yeah, one is yeah. that one is very Same tricky word. and that's one where it's hard to know what the right move is and them erring on the side of caution, I can't really blame them for that. Yeah. But his point stands. I mean, he's not wrong that Disney is a bottom line company. And, yeah, they don't care if Mickey Mouse is a 70-year-old cultural, cultural icon as long as he's making the money. But the same could be said for Marvel. I was yeah, about to no, say. I think that's just, it's not like they bought a mom and pop store here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it's going to be good for Marvel either way, oh, yeah. and I certainly and, don't blame Marvel for making that decision. No, I mean, no. and Marvel has been owned by some yeah. kind of corporation. Yeah, they were owned by Revlon since 1968. Yeah. 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 So, oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, they were owned by Revlon, and then that guy Ron Perlman came in and bought everything, and he's known for buying yeah. companies and breaking them up. And, and Ron, did, Ron Perlman, everybody, Ron not not Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> before, before everybody starts going ape shit on the line. Yeah, didn't you know Hellboy was a big makeup conglomerate? Well, why do you think Hellboy's a dark horse? Yeah, that's why he got so red. And, yeah, it's all lipstick. It's, uh, uh, before he was a uh, beast on Beauty and the Beast, he was a security trader. Really? <laughs> I gotta say the biggest plus of all, all this though is that Marvel's traditionally had a lot of trouble making their animation division work real yeah, well. Mm -hmm. It's been awkward at best, True. and even when it is working, they don't know how to market it property properly, yeah. and their shows end or just kind of fall apart. As yeah. you have said before, Cyrus. Uh, spectacular Spider-Man, the best show that no one knows about. Yeah, yeah you know what? That, that's probably like the best thing. Is like that show actually might have a chance now. Yeah, Although exactly. They're, they're talking. My, the thing that makes me nervous about that is every corporation does this thing, and, and Hollywood corporations especially, where it's like, uh, we didn't create it. Let's bury it just in case it becomes successful because uh, we can't take credit for it. And I worry that might happen to Spectacular. See, I think I think I, I don't think this I, is worried I, about I, that. I think that shows on, on life support as it is right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, but it, I don't it should see, be good. That's not in Disney's history to be yeah. like that though they're not usually like that when they bought stuff so right. it makes me think that if anything they're just going to sink a bunch of money into it to get attention for it Boy, and then sure they'll be the so. guy known as the guys who saved spectacular it is interesting how like this deal feels like you know it seems like to us like it just popped up out of nowhere yeah but the disney xd like the third right. of their disney yeah. channels has been rerunning old marvel cartoons for the last two years mm -hmm. 
So maybe it was a yeah. long time yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah well, it's imp- I mean, it had to have been to get this all worked out, but it's impressive how much they kept it under the radar. Yeah. It was like yeah. Monday, all of a sudden, bang, Disney buys Marvel, and you're like, what? No, I, I'm kidding. really, I'm really surprised that this didn't show up in like lying in the gutters like yeah. a year ago. And actually, right. you know, yeah, I was a little suspicious when I, when I saw that picture of Lasseter wearing a, a full suit of armor and the green tunic. You know, I was, uh, <laughs> I, I was saying I was, something's going on here. I would be very interested to see if um, Disney would go ahead and open up a Marvel channel, just given how Disney handles their their t- television shows. I think yeah, so you can awesome. wait for the hour of programming per day that's worth a shit. And the yeah, rest of it you is, you know what though, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna have more. Gonna I think be, as time goes on, there's gonna yeah. be eight live action X oriented shows that are all marketed at a teen demographic. And every <laughs> last one of them will suck a little yeah, bit it's, more. It's, of it's your gonna soul be now. like Mutant X and the Generation <laughs> X movie, yeah. and the Dolph Lundgren Punisher. Be careful what you wish for. Is the, yeah, the, the Nicholas Hammond Spider Man. Well, we already know they're gonna. Right, don't go there. Hey, <laughs> oversaturate the market with more commercialism of <laughs> Marvel, and they're gonna be cross promoting like crazy, having photo shoots with Mickey Mouse. And if, if they're smart by focusing a lot on television and letting Marvel Studios just do what they've been doing with film, which right now seems to be good, we'll see once the Avengers movie comes out. No, no, no. You no, know no, what, that, no uh, I want to talk about. Say, actually, I, was... I want to say something about that. Uh oh, fish. Uh oh. No, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Listen, up. listen. All the Marvel movies lately, they've been they've been financed by Marvel and like Paramount and Universal. They've been they've distributed them with Disney because. With Disney, there's more financial security for an Avengers movie to happen. Because I hear the biggest complaint about the Avengers movie is that it's too expensive and you couldn't make it. With Disney backing it up, not only is that more possible, I think it provides more security if they wanted to do more obscure characters like Iron Fist or something. You know, oh, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. Fish is you know, it, Randy, again, my what, nipples. Come here, seriously. <laughs> what's, what's funny God, is... God, a Pixar Iron Fist. <laughs> Jesus, I gotta go get another drink. <laughs> Fish never talks, and the one time he does, he says exactly everything I was just about to say. Really? Like, like yeah, this this the Marvel buy the Disney buyout of Marvel. That's a complete game changer to where, like, okay, my saying the Avengers movie is not going to happen. And Leon buys himself some wiggle room. <laughs> <laughs> now that he realizes that it's probably going to happen, hey he man, this, he finally hey, finds hey, what's this in my door. ass? Oh God, it's a fish hook. <laughs> See, that's, I told you it was going to happen once Disney bought it. <laughs> oh, shut I up. didn't really disagree with you. Hey, look, look. <laughs> Somehow, flock. You, you, you guys, you guys all know that, that this nobody saw this coming at all. This this changes everything. Oh, no, okay. no, flock. You found your loophole. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're saying he's fake? He's, he's fake, fake Leon? He's <laughs> Fleon? <laughs> Are you actually the smoke monster? <laughs> That's a, you're the nemesis. No, okay. no, no. no. The, the Avengers movie is likely now. Wow, I never thought I'd hear those words. <laughs> God. I, oh, and that's when old man Logan or old man Leon's heart grew three times that day, and the sky opened and well, rained blood. But but it took four billion dollars to do it. <laughs> you know he's been. That's a hell of a transfusion. Just got a life. Well, guys, we've 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 done the Disney thing. Let's go on to well, let's go with just go, go the Blackest Night. Let's let's start talking about that now. Why who are you hears, looking at Leon when who you say hears, that? Because I know he's read it. Oh, I thought it was a little. Well, I don't, that is my nickname, also the Blackest Knight. Yeah, uh, I've, I've read Blackest black Knight, Knight, Chocolate Bear, whatever works. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who's who's actually been you know at least somewhat up to date on the Blackest Knight in here? I, Fish, I Grant, Bo, Leon, not the comic store owner. I of course know what's going on. I haven't been reading every page. Uh, uh, see, wow. Get why out. You show actually, up just uh, <laughs> th- th- thanks to the auspices of Nakado, I I've managed to to get and and. My own, my own hard-earned bartending cash. I've I've managed to get all of the uh, all of the graphic novels that have come out. Yet. Nice. So I'm oh, completely wow. up to speed, except for I don't have the the Agent Orange stuff hasn't come out in in yeah. hardcover form yet. But but I did read those in the store, so I'm like right up there. Okay, and, awesome. Okay, I I mean I'm I'm current. But there's a lot of stuff in the middle I'm fuzzy about. Like as far as the side issues. Like I like I read up to like the oh. second of the uh, Sinestro Core Wars. Yeah, that, that's about where I, I left. I off think there. a lot of people dropped off after Sinestro yeah. Core Wars, so they yeah. they did miss the, you know, some Rage important stuff Lanterns happened. And, and, and not only that, but Secret Origin, which by all means. Oh no no, I, got, I read that. Yeah. That, yeah. that was Origin, that was the best. That was, that was awesome. Was awesome. All, all the other color uh, rings though popping up, I I kind of missed those after that, the yeah, Violet. Yeah, that mostly happened in Rage of the Red Lantern. We got we got blue. We got red. What's 